Hey everybody! Well, as you saw from the intro to this video, I've got something very special to show you guys. The Capri Cobb Light. Yes. Now you guys already know how I feel about those two lights over there on the shelf and uh, about how long I've had them and I do like them and you guys know I do have other lights as well that I like uh, in addition to those that I use here in the shop. So as you can see uh, this thing it's like holding a lightsaber literally in your hands well it's bright the 600 lumens on the box and uh, I believe every bit of it and then some it is darn bright and then I didn't know about this till a little bit ago it's also got a UV light it's also fairly bright. You can feel the heat come off it. <laughs> so it was, we're going to put this down on uh, the bench here. We're going to go over some of the specs on it, what all comes with it in the package, and uh, might even do a little bit of side-by-side -side with those guys over there. Give you an uh, idea on what this guy, that only cost $69.95, so $70.00 off of uh, Amazon or Capri's websites, both links to uh, both locations down below, as always, uh, the Capri website and uh, obviously Capri on Amazon. But uh, yeah, let's stop looking at my face and let's start looking at something real pretty and sexy like this thing. Well, I suppose uh, might as well just go ahead and embarrass myself and tell you guys exactly how big this thing actually is. Well, from stem to sternum, or uh, in short, from tip to base, 19 inches overall length, which gives you just about, what are we sitting at here? Nine and three quarter inches of total light bar. Told you we were gonna do some comparison, so that's, as we butt these two together, Literally, about as big as this whole snap-on light. Uh, I do like this light. It is a nice light. And it does have a UV function as well. But, this was what, like $105, $110? Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll put a link up here to the videos I've done on this guy. And uh, serves me well. Another light. Oh. I think this one gets up to about 300 lumens. Right there. And it's, you gotta dim it down. It's 100 to 300 on the light bar, uh, which is a similar Cobb style. This one's just much bigger. Uh, articulation on this guy, as you know, uh, you are somewhat restricted to the shape of the base on this to where it will and will not stick kind of is what it is uh, but does have a fairly good magnet on it and then of course the base charging this guy has also a very good magnet on it on the base base is felt covered and you adjust the tension on this however you want I just turning that knob so you can get the magnet on it and uh, let's actually so we'll go to the side and it will hold and it is felt so it's not going to scratch toolbox you can loosen it up and adjust and swivel any which way you want once you get it to where you want let's say off to the side and up tighten it down and it does stay up. And for those of y'all that don't believe me, it is sticking upward. Okay, so in the box, you obviously get your light. Your light does have charging indicator. Uh, then you've got your switch up for your cob down for your uv 
do have hook on each side and that hook will go down and move as well as on the top end same readily accessible hook for hanging snaps in very nicely on the end you have a magnet how strong is this magnet there you go and these are the full size P or 47 CFs so you drop something down in there you do have a barely 10 millimeter by one inch tool <laughs> to go ahead and grab that nut that you just dropped down into the abyss so ultra thin 620 lumen cob light cool white and uv dual mode comes very well packaged does did come in a sleeve over here we've got the destructions cool white uv mode that does have safety on off cool white uv side usb rechargeable gives you instruction on the magnets and working temperature 23 degrees negative fahrenheit which is negative 41 degrees celsius that's not right to 50 degrees celsius okay i believe that so working temperature 23 below fahrenheit to 122 degrees uh, fahrenheit storage temperature four below to 158 battery life three hours at maximum brightness and ul listed 3250 internal battery okay 120 angle white 120 degree wide angle lens uv leak detector three hour battery at max brightness dimmer switch how thin it is the swivel base the magnetic base uh pretty cut and dry which is nice it, they don't give you a whole bunch of other crap in 20 other languages to read okay now in behind there we've got power supply 10 watt 5 volt 2 amp power supply so of good power output actually on this one and standard usb mini recharge cable uh, good silicone on that one so this i actually will use directly for this guy because it's a higher output uh my wall charger is only three volts this one calls for five volts we're going to give it five volts folks so it's good that they do include a high output charger now on to the rest comparisons shall we so then of course got my oem tools that i got from bobby to boss um, talked about this thing i don't know how many times and this is been a pretty tough very good work light thank you bobby this one still does get used uh, talked about this one as well uh, there again same way to adjust brightness have to hold and try to find your uh, magic spot which is usually either going to be its lowest or highest setting uh, i think this has a power output of uh, about four or five hundred lumens uh, something along that lines um, i don't have the specs right here in front of me to go off that i've reviewed that in the past go from there this is usb-c rechargeable and does have a good seal on it uh, this one again mini usb right there charging indicator light that uh, is red when charging green when charged this one the light turns blue when it's fully charged rather than just green or red they actually went with blue uh, standard capri colors uh, always they're black and they're blue it's a pretty blue got a rubber cover for your charging port cover that does stick in there pretty well you might want to make sure but sets flush oops let's get you in camera here got the camera set up a little higher than usual so that's pretty flush along with it so keep all the grime and grit out which uh, is kind of a must around here 
Uh, only concern I might have is over time the felt base that will eventually uh, get some stuff on it. It might deteriorate, rub off. Uh, what guys like me do, we just take electrical tape anyways because it's going to happen. It did it with this one and this one actually had a rubberized uh, coat on it for the magnetic base. Just cover it with electrical tape and she'll still do the job or a piece of duct tape. It's up to you as the end user, but uh, it's nice that it is something softer so that way you don't mar up if you're using it on a customer's vehicle, like say their Cadillac or whatever. Don't have to worry about scratches or you could just put a rag down as well. Okay. All right, so as you see, we're uh, kind of doing another little bitty experiment here. I've went ahead Close the doors, we still got light coming in from outside and I still have the uh, one box as its light on. Uh, so we're gonna see exactly how well this thing will throw some light and I'm gonna just be casting it out behind me. Let's start off there at low and then start to go up slowly. So I'm thinking I'm about a third of the way there's about half the way and we're already starting to light up the shop and there's full yep, bright full so it definitely definitely has some throw to it let's see if we can uh, shine it back here okay, so back towards the mess of my toolbox Got a pretty good throw to it. Now the UV. Oh, wow. That says anything to you. All right, so kind of covered the gamut there on uh, that little bitty test. This thing definitely has some throw to it, definitely has. Uh, pretty good area coverage with it. Um, $70, folks. That thing is humongous. I mean, look at this. Look at the size of this. Then, compare it to that. And then this guy. And then this guy. That is a lot of power. So, on that note, if you've had uh, some curiosity on uh, spending $70 on this or $100 on this, or what is it, $110, $120, uh, whatever this one runs, uh, $110, I think was the latest and greatest. I got something loose in there. Magnet. So I might have to take that apart, see if I can re-glue the magnet. <laughs> So, uh, this thing though, I don't think we're going to have that issue because it's not part of the, uh, it's a, the base is a separate part uh, compared to that which is integral, which actually, curious here real quick. Okay, just a ball base style mount, folks. Focus. As you can see, so, we'll come off gently will go back on nicely if you ever do need to get one of this uh, get a hold of them they've usually got to repair parts uh, if you have an issue with one of them uh, believe this has a year-long warranty don't quote me on that Let's see if we can find it here uh, one year warranty so if there's a issue with your magnet or something like that, get a hold of them. And they might be able to get you a repair part. Uh, other than that, this thing's just awesome. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I'll be keeping you posted on how this thing's going to do. It's definitely going to work awesome inside a trailer. It's definitely going to work awesome underneath the hood on these guys and underneath, uh, especially when we're doing U joints and uh, uh, shaft seals, pinion seals, all that jazz. That thing's going to be fun to work with. So, I like it. 
Now, until next time, remember, shop safety is just as important as firearm safety. Feel free to check out the links in the description box down below to Capri Tools. And, uh, yeah, shop safety is just as important as firearm safety. You screw something up, somebody can die. And we'll catch you later, folks. Remember, like, share, subscribe, and all that other jazz that everybody else says. So.